Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karak Alvaron and today we are back on Steam because we have an update to one of the games that I feature on my channel, Medieval Dynasty. So if you're new to my channel, um, I play all sorts of games. Um, ones that I find interesting. This isn't a normal uh, YouTube channel for gamers where you focus on one game and uh, that's it. I play all sorts of games, and Medieval Dynasty is one of the games that I featured on the channel before, and there's a new update coming this winter, and I'm going to be featuring it on the channel again. Anyways, this is a news update. It's good news for those of us who enjoy Medieval Dynasty, and we're going to get into it. So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I appreciate the support. So before I get too deep into this video presentation, just let me say off the bat, I've been a little sick the last week or two, and I've still got like a stuffy nose, etc. So if I cough or something, I really do apologize. Anyways, Medieval Dynasty is, it's like an, uh, it's got RPG elements. You know, there are some quests that you do. There's town building that you do. Um, but the, the, the crux of the game is, is you have to have children so you can continue your dynasty. And it's basically a town build simulator. Um, I found this a while ago. It's it's a, a little gem of a game. It's it's a niche game. Okay, it's it. there is some survival element to it as well. If you die, your game is over. Um, you can, of course, restore it from a prior save. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it's definitely not for everybody. It's a fun little game that I enjoy. Anyways, um, they they have an update coming uh, this winter, and it's supposed to be, you know, it's going to be a material update. There'll be a new map, there'll be um, a new co-op play mode, etc., which is pretty cool. You'll be able to play up to one to four players, and that's the big update that's just come out. Um, they, so how they're doing it is, is they've given us a reveal of four different phases of the update. And this is the final phase. This is the co-op mode. So let's just read what the news is. The village community is gathered in the open square, impatiently awaiting Harold's announcement. We hereby proclaim that the day that the day the villagers will be able to set their foot on the oxbow and officially enter Pistovia, either alone or with companions, shall be announced today. So, the day in question shall be the 7th of December, 2023, and His Majesty hopes the villagers will look forward to that day with great anticipation. So. The full update is going to drop on December 7th, which is great. Um, and it, it's basically a new map with, you know, new towns, etc. And, you know, some new uh, quests. I'm looking forward to it. It's a fun little game. I enjoy playing. The cool part is, is you're going to be able to play now with uh, up to four people. Now, it's co-op mode, so there's no... PvP, okay? I, I wasn't sure what they were going to do. I know that, you know, I've got a few comments on one of the other news uh, videos that I did for this, that co-op means cooperative play. I understand that. But, it, you, <laughs> you know, does that mean that it's just you all have to work on the same town? Does that mean that you guys can uh, build your own towns and compete for merchants? You know, th th there's some ambiguity there uh, obviously it's not pvp there is combat element in this game by the way you do have to uh, sometimes fight bandits so it wasn't out it wasn't completely off the table that there could be um towns competing against each other and maybe raids etc but i don't think that's the way that this game is going to go anyways um the oxbow launches on steam december 7th 2023 on and that's cool. So and that's for PC. Now, let me see here. The update will include co-op mode for up to four players, a new map with lots of villages and quests waiting to be explored. Moreover, we'll add the already announced character creator and playable female characters. So that's 
what this whole thing was. They, they were planning on this expansion at the end of the year. And how they did this presentation was is they gave us four features that were going to come in. You've, you've got a new map, which was the big one. You could play a female character up until this expansion. You, you cannot. Um, and also, there's a character creator now. Like before, you just they just had a blanket. Um, everybody played the same character you know the same <laughs> had the same look so you're gonna be able to customize it a little bit I looked at the character character creator it's not as robust as a lot of other games but it, you know it's something and then of course you've got the co-op we can play up to four players on the same map so that's kind of cool um, there is a trailer we're gonna look at that in a minute um, okay and then that's that's really it that's the end of the announcement so um, it's it's not a cheap game, okay? Um, you know, you you'll be able to get this on sale at some point. I mean, there's a sale right now, um, but still, it's twenty twenty two twenty five bucks. Um, what I would say is to to my viewers who who come here from other games like Lord of the Rings Online or Valheim or some of the ESO people that come in, um, this game. Medieval Dynasty is not for everybody. Okay, it's it, it it it's a little. When you get into it, it looks and feels a little antiquated. This is like almost like a throwback feel. Okay, I would encourage you to go look at some of the videos either on my channel or uh, somewhere uh, other somebody else's channel to get an idea of what the game is. Now, I think it's a fun little game to play. I enjoy playing it. And again, like I said in the intro, that's what my channel's about, is I I play games that I enjoy, and hopefully my audience enjoys watching me play them. Um, I think this is a cool little game. I'm going to do it. You know, um, I played the, you know, the, the first chapter, I'll call it, um, you know, with the original map, and I did the main storyline, and you know, I may do a series on this this uh, this particular uh, update. I'm not sure yet. I'm not. I haven't planned it out because it is in December, so I got a little bit of time. Um, but I'm definitely going to pick it up at some point and play it. So that's basically the news here. Um, we've got co-op mode announced which is, we knew that was coming. It's one to four players on the map, uh, which is cool. And it's dropping on December 7th, 2023, which is nice. And what that is, is let's, I'm guessing it's a Friday, but I don't know. No, it's a Thursday. Okay. Um, cool. So, you know, that's cool. Um, I have a lot of time off in December. My company usually is pretty generous with their time off in terms of, you know, we all, we, we all have vacation time, but sometimes they just give us extra days, which is nice, which will give me time to play more video games. <laughs> Anyways, let's watch the trailer. Hi. Hi there. Cool. 
Cool. Co-op mode, December 7th, 2023. Nice. Okay, so that was the trailer for the co-op mode. Um, fun game, fun little game. It's a niche game. Definitely check it out. I ho I hope that you uh get this game. If you if you like a little RPG, a little survival, little town building, um, you know it, it's a fun little game. Now, like I said before, the price twenty two bucks. I I, th I think that. This is a $20 game. Okay, that's... Uh, I understand that the, the, the normal price is $35. Bucks. Um, I would say between $20 and $25 bucks is where my price point would be for this game if I were just coming into it. Okay, it does have survival elements. It does have open world. It's based in, you know, the medieval period. There's building. It's single player. Um, there's a lot of positives to it. But... Honestly, I, having played it, uh, you know, through the whole, I, I've played enough, I've put enough hours into it where I could say 20, 20 to 25 bucks is a fair price for this. Now, for this this update, I, there's no pricing here. I don't know if this is going to be uh, something they're going to charge for or if it's just going to be an update to the base game. Um, if it's an update to the base game, that's pretty cool. You know, that's basically a DLC level uh, content update. You know, I would think, you know, they charge at least five, ten bucks for it. Um, but I, I don't see any pricing here. So, you know, maybe that'll come later. I don't know. Anyways, uh, look for Medieval Dynasty on the channel. You'll probably see a little bit more of that in December and January. I know we're only in October right now, but hey, this is when the news has come out, so I'm reporting it to you. Um, you know, if, if it's something that's interesting to you, there is a playlist on my channel that has some of the unique build locations that uh, you can build in on the on the regular map. Uh, the new map, I have no idea. I haven't looked at it yet. And then I would encourage you to go check out some of the YouTubes to find uh, the game, see if you like it, see if it's interesting to you. And then if it is, and you've determined that that's something that you want to do, I would wait for it to go on sale. That this game does go on sale quite a bit, and they have pretty good discounts: 35%, $22. I think that's a fair price for this game. Okay, I would. I think the Christmas sale, they're probably going to have a pretty decent sale. However, that's going to probably be after the Oxbow release, so it'll be higher in price, is my guess. I don't think they're going to give you any deals after they've released that new content. I. I, I Again, they haven't announced pricing for that yet, how it's going to work. What I my assumption is, is until they come out with, hey, this is a DLC, it's going to cost you extra money, that it's going to be added to the base game. If that's the case, then 22 bucks for two maps is pretty good. Anyways, tell me what you think in the comments below. I really appreciate you coming by and taking your time to watch my content. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you again soon.